Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also rolling out the latest Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 11, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month, which was the 14th of March. And for Windows 11 version 22H2, the update is KB5023706. And for Windows 11 21H2, the update is KB5023698. And both updates will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, the updates address security issues in the Windows 11 operating system. And just to have a quick look at the all-important security fixes that have rolled out this month before we dive a little bit deeper and take a look as, as to what is new. Now, for both versions of Windows 11, there are 54 security fixes that have rolled out. So that's plenty of security fixes addressing 54 vulnerabilities. Out of those 54 vulnerabilities, eight are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. 45 are important and one is a moderate vulnerability and, and the eight critical vulnerabilities are mainly addressing remote code execution, elevation of privilege and denial of service vulnerabilities. And over and above that, there's also a zero day that's been patched, which means the exploit is currently out there, it's happening and it's active, which we also term as exploited in the wild. So important to check that this update and these updates are applied sooner than later, addressing 54 vulnerabilities, eight critical, and one of those has already been exploited in the wild. Now, although the updates are security um, related, uh, this month Microsoft has rolled out one or two bug fixes. And just to mention the one, which also rolled out for Windows 10, um, if you reuse an existing computer account to join an Active Directory domain, that joining was failing. So the update addresses an issue that affects a computer account and Active Directory. So that's a bug fix that is rolled out now for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you are running Windows 11 21H2, um, if you didn't install the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of February, which I'll leave a link to in the description if you'd like some more info, then all of those improvements and fixes will be made available with this update, which also includes a new feature, as I did mention previously. And just to have a quick look at that for Windows 11 21H2 users, um, if we head over to accounts and sign in options, the update adds an advanced auto learning feature for facial recognition, which is part of Windows Hello if you have the hardware and you also have the feature installed. Now, as I mentioned previously, Microsoft doesn't say exactly what that advanced auto learning feature is all about, but nonetheless, um, they have made improvements to the facial recognition in Windows 11 21H2. Now, moving over to Windows 11 22H2, and this is a big, massive update for Windows 11 22H2 because if you didn't install um, the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out on the 28th, 28th of February or 1st of March, depending on your region, which was KB5022913 then um, all of these and those fixes and add-ons and new features will be made available in this Patch Tuesday update rolling out this month. Also referred to as the Moment 2 feature update, which includes the second wave of new features, which is a major feature update for Windows 11 22H2. So you may be surprised to notice a couple of new features if you didn't install this previous update. Now, I did post a whole video on the Moment 2 feature update. So I'll leave a link down below to that video, which will give you a whole lot more info. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, just going through some of the key highlights, and this is by no means a comprehensive list. Now, as you can see, um, the update brings a new enhanced taskbar search, very similar to what you get over on Windows 10. Uh, it also includes a fluent rounded corners look and feel. And you can also type a search into the taskbar search. It's not just a button. And um, if we right click and we head over to taskbar settings, we also get some options. You can hide it. Um, you can search, you can have the search icon only, search icon and label, and search box, which is the default. So new enhanced taskbar search box rolling out now with the Moment 2 update. And there's also a new search in the task manager. So if we head over to the task manager, um, search now available in the task manager, which I think is a nice move, as I mentioned previously, in the right direction, where you can type a name, publisher, or process ID to search for those different tasks and processes. And um, there's also some improvements to the uh, quick settings, basically the quick action center, if you want to call it that, um, where there are 
Windows Studio effects that have rolled out if you have the relevant hardware. And as I mentioned um, in that previous video, you also get some different sound outputs now that have been made available if you click on the actual select a sound out output icon. And then um, there's also tabs in the notepad. So notepad now has tabs. And as I mentioned, this is just some of the key highlights. Go check that other video out if you want more in-depth info. So you now I get tab tabs in the notepad and you can also drag a tab and open up a new window so that's also a nice new feature if you do use the notepad on a regular basis and the snipping tool now has screen recording so if we head to the uh, legacy snipping tool app over and above now taking screenshots and screen captures you now get the uh, video recorder so you can um, screen record now using the snipping tool and I did do a little bit more info on that in that previous video so go check that out and then if we head back to the settings system power and battery you also get energy recommendations basically um as microsoft says apply energy saving recommendations to lower your carbon footprint and you have a whole lot of different settings that you you can apply to basically um uh, just bring some lower energy usage to your device and then just to do a couple of quick mentions um, if you are using a two-in-one device they've also rolled out a touch optimized taskbar which can collapse and expand for two-in-one devices and they've also fixed slow file copying that was a big one where um, mainly over a network down to a local computer, Microsoft says that file copying could have been reduced by up to 40%. So that was a big issue and has now been addressed with the Moment 2 update. So that's just a quick overview of some of the key features that did roll out with Moment 2, but go check that other video out. And if we just head over to Winver about Windows, for Windows 11 22H2, uh, the OS build will be now bumped up with this latest update to build 2261.1413. And if you are using Windows 11 21H2, your OS build will be 22000.1696. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.